interesting plane here. It's a Blackburn Buccaneer STB XX900. And this is a uh, flying in its desert colors from the former Red Flag 1977 exercise with the Americans, where it actually uh, the Buccaneers really uh, impressed the Americans with their low flying abilities. Subsonic Cold War era jet, look at that for an air brake. Huge, great sort of clam clamshell uh, rear air, air brake. And uh, these planes were um, carrier flown and uh, were you know, pretty successful in their day and we've even carried nuclear weapons. The bomb bay doesn't open, it rotates and the bombs then sort of, um, I guess, are released from that. But that thing under the belly that gives it its Coke bottle shape is a bomb bay that rotates. The XREF chap that tipped me off, this was at uh, Tatton Hill, so I was in the, uh, the nearby hotel at the time, told me that uh, these would once um, actually had a, a really good run on a, in an exercise against the US um, a carrier and uh, they the Americans were again really impressed with their ability to get really very 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 low. Another great bit of trivia on this plane is it was the first fleet air arm aircraft to make a non-stop unfueled crossing of the Atlantic Ocean. I was amazed at how people are dedicated to sort of maintaining and keeping up these uh, sort of historical aircraft now uh, and all the volunteers that have looked after it over the years or, or moved it around and helped move it and people have funded that. I mean, the story of how this got here is incredible. <laughs> it's been to a few places over the years and it's been part of different collections, but, you know, looking resplendent in this new paint, uh, as it would have been in 77, uh, again, impressing the, uh, all, all that wanted to see the, the really incredible ability of British aviation back in the day. We really were punching well above our weight and I'd like to think we still do. Um, but, uh, you know, it was a golden era, really, for our jets. Um, sadly spurned on, of course, by the, the Cold War. But uh, great to see this wonderful example here at Tatton Hill.